Hello everyone, this is Reza Dorani, Microsoft Business Applications MVP. In this video, we are going to look at a scenario in which we want to check if the logged in user, the user who is currently viewing or using the Power App, is a member of a particular SharePoint group or not. So in this scenario, I am using a service desk app. And in this app, when a user logs in, he sees a list of all the tickets that he has created in the system. If I go to the admin screen, it is going to show me all the tickets that all the users have created in this system. If I go back, it takes me back to the home screen. Now let's say my requirement is such that I want this button for admin screen to only show up for the users who are a member of a particular SharePoint group. Let's see how we will try and achieve this one in Power Apps. So first thing that's very important to understand is that there is no direct action available where you can check to see that the logged in user is a member of a SharePoint group. And a very common scenario that I have observed is we go ahead and we create a list Right? I've seen this a lot. You know, we go and we create a list. For example, I'm going to call this list admins. And in this list, I am going to go ahead and add all the names of the users who, who need to see that particular button. And what we end up in Power Apps is we go and check to see if the current logged in user is in that SharePoint list or not. But the problem with this approach is that list is never going to drive security Yes, you can show and hide things in Power Apps based on security. But then at the end of the day, if I go to site permissions and if I go to the security of my SharePoint site, you will have a SharePoint group created specifically to drive security purposes as well. The other issue with going ahead and building a list is that if you want to add everyone here, like all the users in my organization, let's say I want to check if I'm a part of this group, or maybe there is a security group that you created in AD or an, uh, or a distribution list, or for that matter, whatever group you've created, if you directly include that in this list, right? So if I create a people pick a column right here, and if I directly include this column right here as part of this list, and if I give a specific group to this list as well, it's not going to solve my problem because you need to individually have each user's name in this list in order for you to check within Power Apps to make sure that this user is a part of the group. So it's a lot of extra work that you need to do. Also from a maintenance standpoint, if there is a new user who needs to be a part of this group, you would have to add that user to the security group, which is your SharePoint group. Plus you would also have to go to the list that you've created and add the user in there. So it's a lot of manual work. Now let's try to figure out if there is any action available directly that gives me this. Now, one thing to note is that when you connect to your data sources, there is an option in Power Apps. Let me show you that option. So what I will do right now is let's say on start of the app. Let's go right here and let's try and add a new function. There is an action called data source info. It's a function. And in this function, what it accepts is the name of the data source. Okay, so let's say I have my data source. And in this scenario, one of my data sources is a list. So if I go to site contents, I have a list called service desk. And I have that as added as a data source in my app. So if I pick this, I can do comma. And then I have options wherein I can see whether the current logged in user has create permissions on this, delete permissions on this, edit permissions on this, or read permissions on this. So those standard SharePoint permissions are available here. And if I do this, this will actually output a true or a false, a Boolean value for me that I can store in a variable. And I can check to see if the logged in user has that specific access or not on a data source in SharePoint. Now, unfortunately, this function works with data sources, but not with SharePoint. So if I was to go and test this out, it will not give me true results with respect to SharePoint as a data source, because that's a known bug with the data source info function. 
So is there a function available that can get me to that point wherein I can check to see whether a particular logged in user has specific access on a data source or not? Yes, but it's not going to cut it out because this will not give you accurate results. It, it will always return a true irrespective of the user having permissions or not. So this is not an option. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. You can use that for other kinds of data sources like SQL. Very handy. Okay, so now with SharePoint, what do we do? One thing what you can do, and this is a trick way of achieving, achieving the same outcome, and that's what I want to demo as part of this video. What I'm going to do is I will go ahead and I'm going to create a list. And this list, I'm going to call this list as my security list. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And what I will do in this list is... I'm going to head over to permissions. So I have a security group. I have a SharePoint group called admins. Okay. I have this group called admins. Now this list that I have created, the first thing what I will do in this is I will go ahead and create a new item. Okay. And I can call this item. I'm going to call this item with the same name as my SharePoint group. It doesn't matter if I use the same name or not, but in this scenario, I just want to use the same name. So I'm just going to call this help center admins and I'm going to click on save. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to click on this item that I just created. I am going to go to sharing settings, go to click on this three ellipses and go to manage access. Okay. And then out here, what I want to do is notice that it's showing me the security associated with this item. I want to set the security of this item such that only the people who are a part of the help center admins, help center admins have access to this item. So all the other groups, I do not want them to have access. So I'm going to say stop sharing with the visitors group, stop sharing with the members group. Basically I'm setting item level permissions in SharePoint. You can't do this for the owners group, I believe, but what you can do right here is you can just go ahead and totally stop sharing with everyone. Um, and for the help center admins, I'm just going to give them view access. Now, if you really need to remove owners from this view, you can go to advanced right at the bottom. And this will take you to the old school, uh, old school, uh, classic SharePoint view for security permissions. And let's say in this case, I'm going to also remove the owners permissions. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and pick the admins. Sorry, I picked a user rather than the admin. So I'm going to pick the help center admins. I need to make sure I have the name correctly specified here. Help center admins. And I'm going to invite this group and I am going to give them read access on this. Okay. And once I do that, I'm going to just try and refresh this and I'm going to remove the owners group as well. Okay. So all I've done here now is that for this specific item, only the people who are a part of this SharePoint group, which is help center admins have read access. Now, if I head back to the list again, and if I refresh this, and this time, if I go to share the three ellipses, manage access, you will see that setting has been incorporated here. That means whoever is a member of the help center admins SharePoint group, and no matter how you add users to that group, it doesn't matter. Whoever is a member of that SharePoint group will have access to this item, right? Now in this scenario, I am logged in with my account. I have another persona that I have created and I'm going to log in with this user persona into this SharePoint site. And when I log into this SharePoint site, and I'm accessing that same list that I created security, you will note that this user does not see that list item. The reason is because this user is not a part of that SharePoint group. If I go to the admins group, you will notice only my account is in there. The other user, James, is not in the SharePoint group. Now, if I help go back to my help center power app, what I can do right here is I can go ahead and go to my data sources and add a new data source that connects to this new SharePoint group or the SharePoint list that I created. So I'm going to go ahead. I am going to add a connection to SharePoint. 
I'm going to put in the URL of my site, pick my site, and I'm going to pick this new list and connect. Now, one very important thing to notice, the user has access on the security list, right? He has, he can get to the list, but he can't see the item. So it's very important for him to have access to the list at least, because if he does not, and if the user tries to log in, he will get an access denied message within Power Apps itself. So I have included the security list. Now, how do I check whether the user is a part of the security group or no? Very simple. I'm gonna go back to app on start. This time I'm gonna create a variable called is admin. So I wanna know if the user is an admin or not. That means, is he a part of that SharePoint group or not? So what I can do right here is I can write this formula called count rows, okay? And this time I'm gonna to connect to my data source, which is security. So all I want is to count the rows of the security list. Now in this scenario, I only have one item in that SharePoint list. And I know I'm getting a delegation warning over here, which is not a problem for me in this case, because I know that list is never gonna grow beyond 500 items or maybe 2000 items. I won't have so many groups. But if you have scenarios wherein you have multiple SharePoint groups, okay, so let's say I want I want to check whether the user is part of an admin group or user is part um, of a validation group or any kind of SharePoint groups that you have, I could have easily gone ahead and created multiple items and broken the security for each item. And out here, I could have even written a filter condition to only get this particular item searched by the title. So there are different ways of doing that as well. But in this case, we're gonna keep it very simple. Just gonna count the rows of the security group, okay? Now, all I wanna know is if the user is an admin or not. So what I'm going to do here is if count rows of the security group is greater than zero, that means if there is at least one row returned, that means this user is an admin, otherwise this user is not an admin. As simple as that, okay? So all I'm checking to see is is the, is the count rows of this list greater than zero? Remember, the other user, James, when he logs in, he doesn't even see the row. So for him, it's gonna come back as zero. For me, when I log in, because I'm a part of that security group, I will get that item. Power Apps will fetch that item, so it'll be greater than zero. Now, what we are going to do is, that's all I had to do, and I have this new variable called is admin that I can leverage in my app. And the button that I have right here called admin screen, I can go to the visible property of this button and I can set the visible property of this button to admin. That means if I am an admin, I will see this. Now, because I've made the change right now, I need to run the on start function for the app. So I'm going to run the on start function and notice the moment I ran it, I'm logged in with my account. It gives me the admin screen. I am gonna go ahead and save the app and I am going to go ahead and publish the app, okay? Now, if I head back to the other user's persona, notice that the user sees the admin screen. Now, if I reload this app, and I may have to reload it once or twice because Power Apps does uh, extensive caching, but notice now when I'm logged into the app as this user, I don't see the button and the reason why I don't see the button is because the count rows is returning zero for this user. And that's why it was able to figure it out that this user does not have access to it. Now, the beauty of all of this setup is if tomorrow I need to give this user access, all I need to do is go to the SharePoint group and just add this user in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grant this user access to my SharePoint group. I'm not add, granting access to a list or an item or emails, no hacks, right? The user is straight away going into my SharePoint group. Now, if I come back here and if I just refresh my screen, there you go. Because he's a member of that SharePoint group, he is able to now go to the admin screen. So this is how you can take advantage of certain features in Power Apps to basically go ahead and even find out if the user is a member of a SharePoint group or not, or if the user has access, or if the user basically has that access to that group, a member or an owner, however you want to play it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like. If you have any questions, please comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.